Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. It's been a while. You know, I'm not really used to taking a long break from doing painting tutorials. It's been 13 days or 12 days since the last time I did a landscape painting tutorial and I think it's it's just uh, it just feels good to be back feeling refreshed and energized so i just came back from a short vacation in fact i'm still on leave i mean i'm still on vacation but i'm already back home so i decided to go back to painting because i kind of miss it and it's not really usual again it's not really usual for me to take a long break from doing paintings so today i'll be doing another snowy winter uh themed painting and i'll be linking in the description box below the reference image for this painting tutorial as always and we will only be using a few colors today actually guys i really don't know how this will turn out because again it's been a while since the last time i painted and you know uh even if uh for you it's just a short period of time since the last time i did a painting for me it's been a long time already it feels like a very long time so I'm not sure if my hands are still used to painting. <laughs> so here are the colors for today's painting tutorial. We have, of course, my favorite color, my all-time basic. This is titanium white, phthalo blue, lemon yellow, burnt sienna, and black. So let's begin now. I'll be using, okay, later, I would like to uh mention this a little later but since we're here already i mean i'm introducing my materials so i might as well tell you that i'll be using a sharpie for some small uh detailing i may or may not use it but i feel like i will be using it just for small branches all right you may choose not to do or not to use this type of tool you can also use your paintbrush if you have a really pointy brush but I'll be using it for speed and accuracy purposes. Let's begin sketching the subject. And for the sketch, I'll be using just a fairly medium-sized brush. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to define first where the horizon is going to go. And for that, I'll be using my phthalo blue. So this is where the horizon is going to go. Right, like that okay and then um, I'm gonna do the sky next so I'll be using my phthalo blue I'm gonna mix that with white okay but really a lot of blue okay. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of brown just to tone the blueness down okay perfect like this okay I might change my brush because it's taking me a while to cover the whole thing I'm gonna use a bigger brush All right, perfect. Okay, now I'm going to add more white down here. So just kind of blend the colors. Thank you. 
As you can see, I did not paint this area because we'll be doing some um, background trees later, so it will be covered anyway. So we will not waste our paint uh, painting it blue. Instead, we're just gonna underpaint it with the right color for the shape of the trees in the background. So for that, I'll be using another brush. Okay, I'm gonna use the previous brush that I used earlier, a smaller square brush, and then I'm gonna dab onto my black. But I'll be adding some brown so that it's not purely black. Okay, you can even add blue to make it more greenish and yellow. But more, dom I mean, most dominantly, it should be really, really dark because this, this are background trees. They should not really be detailed, okay? But only suggestive of the shapes of the trees from afar. So we'll begin um, underpainting this area. Okay, now I'm gonna move my brush uh, like this so that I create that shape of distant pine trees, but we will be correcting it later just to give you an idea of how I'm gonna do the shape of the trees uh, in the background. And we will be using our palette knife later. So just get ready with your palette knife. We will reshape this area using our palette knife. Just to give more texture in the background. You may or may not choose to do it, but I'll be doing it. Right, so basically this is the background color for the distant trees. We will go back to this area later. Let's just allow the paint to dry. Definitely this is not the final look that we're looking for. All right, just allow the paint to dry. And then let's move on to the land, er land area, the snowy part of this painting, the foreground. And for that, I'll be using some gray color so I'm gonna mix I'm gonna mix my black with my white, of course. Alright, like this. I'm gonna make it really, really gray. Okay, like this gray, perhaps. Maybe this gray. And I'm just gonna use that. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of blue. Like this. So it's bluish grayish color. All right, maybe this is too blue. I'm not sure. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black. I'm just gonna adjust it. All right, maybe this is fine. I'm gonna underpaint the snow portion. I think we will be using some, um, I'm not really sure, but I think I'll be using some ultramarine later ultramarine blue so i'll be getting my ultramarine later for now let's just proceed with what we have here i don't have my ultramarine right now but i'll be getting it later so for underpainting purposes let's just use the colors that i mentioned we will be using the ultramarine blue for detailing purposes or for the final touches I think I need more black. It has to be a little darker.
All right. For the left side, I'll be changing my color. I'll be using some brown. So I'm going to get my white and then burnt sienna, like this color. I'm going to add okay, more brown. And then I'm going to add a tiny bit of black to tone the brown color down. And I'm going to use that to color the left side. For sure, it doesn't make sense right at the moment, but later, this will make sense. All right, now I'm going to get my yellow. I'm going to try this. I'm going to add brown to my yellow. I'm going to try to paint over the existing brownie color. I'm going to try. If it doesn't uh, work, I'm just going to, well, delete it by painting over it. All right. I think it works. This is... Then I'm going to get my burnt sienna. All right, like that. Okay. And then we'll be doing more detailing later. For now, let's just allow the paint to dry. You can wash your brush out. I'm going to get a smaller square brush for intricate details or more intricate details. Okay. I'm going to dab onto my white and blue. I would like to lighten some areas right here. Two. Okay, here we go again with the finger painting thing. I'm just going to lighten this area. Let's start doing some light play by lightening the areas where the light is um, present. Let's just correct some areas, some dark blue. like that okay okay 
I'm going to lighten this area. Okay, like that. So you can actually tell that this area is light because we want to suggest some light source. All right. Let's go create the sun. Basically, the, the canvas is underpainted already. So we're going to create the source, the light source. So I'm going to paint, or maybe I'm going to wait for this area to dry. Let's create some... I don't know what we're gonna create. <laughs> I think I'm gonna create some, hmm. All right, let's create the snowy part. So I'm gonna get more white. And then, wait guys, I'm just gonna get my um, ultramarine blue, so get yours while I'm getting mine. Okay, so I already got my ultramarine. Right, so for that, I'll be using my, I mean for the snow part, I'll be using my ultramarine and then my white. Okay, so just make your ultramarine opaque because ultramarine is quite translucent. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black again just to tone the color down. Again, ultramarine plus white. And I'm gonna paint over what we painted here. Even if you think the underpainting is useless, it's not really because the colors are gonna pick through the, the painting. I'm using pure ultramarine right here. Okay, doesn't make sense at the moment, right? But I'm gonna use my palette knife, okay? To create more texture for the background trees and for that, I'll be using my black. Okay, maybe you can add blue to your black just so, I mean, I mean just to not make the black super black. Yeah, I hope I'm making sense. I'm gonna make some background texture. So I'm gonna use the back of my palette knife and just create um, like that. But vertical um, shapes to imitate the shape 
of um, pine trees from afar. Remember when the object is quite distant, we only, um, we only create the shape. We don't make super detailed subjects in the background because that contradicts the science of perspective. If we do, I mean, if we create super detailed background. So here, like that. So I'm also mixing some greeny colors, okay? Even if it's not really super seen, I just want the green color to be there, if that makes sense. So for the green color, you don't have to get your yellow green. Just mix the colors that we already have in our palette and I just use yellow and blue. Again, you may choose not to do the green color. It's just an option for me because I still want to have that feeling that these are trees. This is not a mountain or anything like that. Like that. So I kind of like the result. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna create some uh, foreground trees and we'll be doing some birch uh, birch trees birch trees right so i'm gonna get my white i'm gonna get my brown or burnt sienna i'm gonna get my black actually more black you can even use just pure black because we're just underpainting it so i'm gonna create some foreground trees and for that i'm gonna begin right here Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna create more trees. Even here. All right, like that. Okay, so for now, that would be it. Okay. We will be creating the tree, a tree here, but I'm gonna do first the, the background colors before I do 
the tree because we, we will be painting over it so it's just a waste of time all right like that okay now let's go create the sun where the light source is so for that i'll be using my white and yellow okay I'm, i'll be adding some brown okay like that and and, and then i'll be painting it with this color And also here but more brown I'll be using some dark browns right here. Also here. right like that i'm gonna wash my brush out and let's create some sun i'm gonna get my yellow let's start let's try to create a round shape um like this the shape of the sun <laughs> all right it's not really perfect you don't have to perfect it because we'll be doing some sun rays anyway okay sorry guys so we were cut a little earlier and now i'm gonna continue doing the sun because we stop at the sun all right just like that and i'll be getting again my lemon yellow and color this area with that color Here. I'll be getting my burnt sienna again.
all right just like that and then I'm gonna get my pure white Then also here, and I'm going to allow things first to dry. Let's use the same color for the birch trees that we have here. I'm going to, I'm just going to mix it with brown. So I'm going to get my burnt sienna like this. I'm going to add yellow. And then I'm going to use this to color the birch trees, only the left side. Okay, so let's do the same thing right here. That's two yellow, so I'm going to add brown. Again, just highlight the left side. All right, just like that. And then I'm going to dab onto my yellow. Let's make some areas quite lighter.
again I'm just making the left side quite light in terms of highlights right okay now I'm gonna use some brown and black colors and let's go and darken the right side Okay, and then we will be highlighting it a little later. Let's now get our black. Okay, like that.
let's go in let's go create some branches as I was uh, telling you early in this video um, we will be using a sharpie to create more detailed branches you know I was on vacation for um, almost a week already but then I did not miss the sound of the street the noise while I'm painting Okay, I'll be using a smaller brush to create more um, branches. I'll be using some brown. So this is quite repetitive if you're not really a fan of um, doing stuff like this repetition it's all right you can take a break and just continue later when you feel like doing it again it's quite repetitive
right like that okay now i'm gonna go this side let's go back to doing the sun because it's quite dry already i'm gonna get my yellow and glaze the sides no not the sides i mean the outermost area of the sun like that just glaze it Then I'm gonna get my brown. Then white again. And then white here. Right. I'm going to get my yellow. Just keep coming back until you until you reach that point that it looks like the sun is shining basically. Okay, now I'm going to create another uh, tree here.
So I'm just using some gray colors here and there. Let's just fix this. Okay. Using black, I'm going to create some um, suggestion of um, rocks or plants from the distance. Then using blue, using blue and black, just create some bumps on the snowy part. Sorry guys, I did not silent my phone. I think I should. All right, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to create some suggestion of an uphill um, landscape okay, like that and I'm gonna use this color to also create some shadow pale uh, ultramarine blue Like that and the same thing right here I'm just gonna delete some areas
here. Some brown and yellow colors right here. This will really suggest where the light is. And I'm gonna get my white, but super watered down white. And again, white here. Okay, some white. And I'm just dry brushing using white. like that we're almost done I think
I'm just gonna get my ultramarine using ultramarine I'm just gonna darken a little bit more this area And then using some brownie colors, let's create some natural markings on the soil. I'm just going to create some tiny grasses. I know you can hear the you can hear a dog barking. It's from the outside, actually. It's not my dog. Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make some. Um, blue markings in between the foliage. We don't want it to be just pure black without anything um, okay without anything to it let's add some spaces of blue this will suggest some snow in the background like that okay Everything that I'm doing now, uh, it's just amplifying the image. Um, you can stop here already. I'm just um, fixing some details that I want to fix. Just get your black. I'm gonna get more black because I already ran out of the black.
I totally forgot about the background tree uh, tree right here. So I'm gonna make some highlights. Like that. Okay, like that. I'm going to glaze with some white. Just to make it look shiny. all right yes i think we're done we're done guys so i'm gonna sign this now right here i'm just gonna use my black and sign it right here we're done guys so i hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial i hope you do this as well if you like it like this video share this with your friends and let them know that I exist. And as you know me, I'm just going to correct some parts of... Yeah, I really, I really think that that was weird. So I just fixed that. Yeah, that's much better. So I hope you like this one and I hope you do this one as well. If you like this video, share this with your friends. Let them know that... I teach online painting tutorials and see you in my next video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love you.